if we can view our whole self, our whole being from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet to our fingertips as a teaching medium, then we can begin to understand how teaching is a physical act. That it's not just our ideas that are expressed via the mouth, but it is the whole use of self as an expressive being to clarify, illuminate, inspire. Good morning. My name is Nancy Hofek. How can we communicate our ideas more effectively to our students and our audiences? Nancy Hofek, head of voice and speech for the American Repertory Theater at Harvard, uses theater techniques in her workshops to help teachers improve their presentation skills. The teachers who attended Nancy's workshop came for a variety of reasons. I'm here today to get some tips on um, how to think about um, issues of stage fright and um, speaking in front of a large group. And I'm here because I'm interested in learning about the sort of self-awareness that it seems that people in the theater have about their gestures, their speech, their presence. And I'm interested in learning how to communicate more effectively and learning some techniques for um, body placement and um, looking more confident. I'm a paleontologist. I teach history of the earth, history of life on earth. Um, and I teach this a lot to non-scientists. So I'm here today to try and learn new ways to make this topic come across as exciting as possible because if I lose students' attention, um, they pretty much shut down on me. I'm interested this morning in um, finding out some strategies and ways to really entice my students into the sciences and allow them to find a personal way into some difficult subject material. So now that I know a little bit about each of you, I'd like to ask you one more question. How many of you have been in a play? Everybody's been. Nancy believes that teachers can learn to convey their ideas more powerfully by borrowing some of the techniques that actors use. Teaching as performance has a whole range of parallels. The obvious one, of course, is performer or actor is teacher. There are many other parallels. The audience and the students, the theater and the classroom the script and the lecture, and of course, the playwright and the teacher. I view teaching as a calling. It's a huge responsibility to take what we know and do the very, very, very best we can to bring it to life. So I would say if there's anything that you can do to bring that to life in a better way, then it's our responsibility to do it. That in fact we're not shifting and becoming performers or entertainers or stand-up comics or MTV generation this or that but we're stealing the very best notions from those venues to put to use to fulfill our calling. Send your energy out there as if you're casting a spell out onto the trees Ah, and just feel the energy coming off your fingertips. And I think we just kind of have to believe that if in fact we were all um, as empowered as we may have once been when we were five years old, we would knock, that, knock the windows over and touch the trees and all that kind of stuff. Good, great, now let your arm drop. So everybody feel that? Now I'd like to do a little game here, which is all you're gonna do, and we'll all do this simultaneously, and People may not be landing on you as you are landing on them, but I'd like you to just send your energy by your hand around the room, sort of generously landing your energy on each individual before you move on. So it may not coordinate that you're landing as someone is landing on you, but you can still land your energy on them. Okay? Research about how people learn suggests that nonverbal communication, using techniques such as landing your energy, have far greater impact on the quality of learning than we had realized. Excellent. Excellent. Great, thank you. Great. And I want to try this little experiment that we're going to simply, just like we did with our hands landing the energy, we're just going to go around the room and we're going to land our energy with our eyes. Because after all, the eyes are the window to the soul.
Everybody get everybody? Great, great. What did you experience doing that? I just felt really connected to the person that I was looking at. Uh -huh. Like, like you actually were in communication. There was no, right. there was no wall between. Oh, exactly, exactly. Right. Yeah, great. I felt like I lost the sense of space between us. That it, suddenly I wasn't aware of it. It wasn't there. Great, great. So we actually became closer, even though our, and, and by virtue of ourselves expanding in a way that that, right. that we were we were beyond our finite self. And, and, and touching in some way. There was a readiness to say more. We had established sort of a clean slate and a mm -hmm. place to start to say mm -hmm. whatever the content might mm -hmm. have been after that. It's like you're setting up the cable. Right, exactly. Yeah. That one yeah. moment kind of brought us together. Even if the other person wasn't looking at me, I felt, if I need to say something to that person right now, I'm sort of ready and uh, able to establish that. Let's get a guinea pig. Come on up here. Come on up here. <laughs> so, you all can sit down. Not you. Okay. <laughs> you have to stand. And I'm going to put you on this side of me. So, if you were to present just a, a sort of encapsulated version of a first sentence of the material that you're going to okay. then in future present, uh, go ahead and land it on everyone okay. and see what happens. Okay. Um, I'll be teaching you Shakespeare this semester. And although many of you have probably read a lot of the plays, I want to work with you about getting some of the underneath themes um, that you might not have thought about already. Great. So, how did that feel? Normal. Okay. Okay. Normal. Good. Any comments or yes. observations? You have an observation? Um, started off in a very powerful, compelling way, and um, but then by the very end of the remarks, there was a slight drop in energy, and I missed, mm -hmm. I think, the very last part of the final sentence. Mm -hmm. Right. Great, good, good. Okay, so now we're going to try something. Okay. Can I just do this and help yes. you lengthen your smile? Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> Sometimes people ask me, what is my theory of performance? And I say, stand up straight and breathe. And in some respects, that's it. But uh, we can work on a little more sophisticated um, version of that. So a little bit wider stance. You can really feel your feet in the, oh, there we go. Good. <laughs> now you can feel your whole self. You can drop your shoulders. Okay. You can feel your whole self better, can't you? Yeah. Okay. Now, what, you wanna, what I want you to do first is this. Mm -hmm. I want you, before you even speak, mm -hmm. to see if we can find that readiness that mm -hmm. Cassandra was talking about. So I want you to just take a moment and land your energy on each individual in the room before you begin to speak so that you're just connecting. And then when you're ready, I'd like you to continue to speak. And as you speak, land your energy okay. on each individual and make sure that it's received. Okay. I'll be teaching you Shakespeare this semester. And although many of you probably have read some of the plays already, I want to make sure that uh, we get at some of the themes that you might not have thought about. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> yes. Do you want to speak about yeah. some of the um, idea and observation? Yeah, I think everything was a little slower, a little crisper, and I just felt drawn towards you. The first time I was leaning back, and this time it was like I couldn't help but want to get closer. <laughs> Great. It's like that energy is like somebody's throwing you a lifeline and pulling you toward, in a way. How did that feel? I felt like I was as tall as a skyscraper, <laughs> like ready to you know, teach Shakespeare. <laughs> well, it's a huge task, isn't it? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I know the feeling. Yes. <laughs> that was really nice. And also what it is, I, I think what you said about slowing down, it's the concept not of presenting, mm -hmm. but of landing. And it takes the onus off self, how am I doing? and puts it, are you getting it? Am I landing on you?